Boris Johnson has apologized to Conservative Party members for not fulfilling his 31 October do or die Brexit pledge. The Prime Minister continually claimed he would not ask for a Brexit extension, saying he would rather die in a ditch than ask Brussels to extend the 31 October deadline. Read more. Nigel Farage will not stand for a seat at the general election. He told Sky News Sophie Ridge this morning that he absolutely would like to apologize for asking for an extension to the Brexit date saying it's a matter of deep regret. He said the fault for the delay lay with Parliament for not voting through his deal in his specified time frame and for passing the so-called Ben Act. However, when asked if he accepted some responsibility, Johnson said, I do and I'm deeply, deeply disappointed. Johnson also denied any need to extend the transition period past December 2020 if his Brexit deal passes through Parliament. If the Conservatives win a majority, and then pass the Prime Minister's deal, it would give the UK one year to negotiate a free trade agreement with the EU. It took Canada and Japan six and seven years respectively to broker a free trade deal. Johnson refused definitively to rule out that there would be no extension but said there is no reason whatever to extend the transition period. He added the trade negotiations with the EU should be extremely simple. He said, we already have zero tariffs and zero quotas. We already have regulatory and legislative alignment. Read more. Boris Johnson rejects Nigel Farage's offer of an election pact. One trade expert immediately dismissed this claim as unrealistic. David Hennig, UK Director of the European Centre for International Political Economy and Trade, said it was, not only unrealistic, but bad for UK- it, would give us 10 months to decide many years of future economic policy. For more on this story, visit the news article link.